Howdy folks, Tex Scrabner here with Tex Scrabner Outdoors. I'm not making this video for sympathy and I'm not making it to be ridiculed. I experienced a negligent discharge of my Kimber Pro Carry 2 1911 45 ACP. As you see, I'm wearing a hospital bracelet. The footage that I'm about to show you is what actually happened. I just had a boy, Luther! Myself. Oh, s You shot my. How did that happen? Earlier in the day, I had been practicing with my 511 thumb drive holster. The 511 thumb drive has a thumb driven retention mechanism. What I was attempting to do was draw and fire from defensive retention. However, I had done this multiple times with my 511 thumb drive earlier that day with my Glock. The 511 thumb drive is in the actual same position as the safety on my Kimber. As in, when I went to draw my pistol, I pushed down and took off the safety. Then I pulled up. The gun did not release because I had not engaged the mechanism on the index mechanism. And so as I pulled up, I hit that, my finger curled into the trigger guard, and I ripped around through my leg. This is not something that I blame on the holster. I blame it purely on me. However, I share it with you because gun safety is everybody's business. The Full Metal Jacket 45 entered my body here and traveled down to my knee and exited. I was very lucky that I was not more seriously hurt than this. After the shot went off, my training took over. I called my parents to let them know what had happened. I called 911. I dressed my wound and had the bleeding stopped before the paramedics actually arrived at the gun range. 